to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today we are going to discuss about an important topic. We call it as Toxidots. Toxidot is a simple topic that is toxins and its antidots or antitoxins. Together we can call it as Toxidots. So we are not going to explain the complete detail of toxins and its mechanism of action, clinical profile, treatment protocol. We are just telling toxins and antidotes. We will see what are the common toxins, what are the common antidotes. First to toxin is beta blocker. You have to give glucagon that is an antidote, 5 to 10 mg IV and assess the efficiency of uh, uh, the drug which is given. Repeat bolus can be given every 10 minutes. Next one is IV lipid emulsion. 1.5 ml per kg bolus in 100 ml dextrose is the recommended dose. Norepinephrine or noradrenal infusion can be given if the patient does not respond. Transcutaneous spacing or transvenous spacing can be done. Next drug is calcium channel blocker. You can give antidote calcium that is 10% calcium gluconate 60 ml IV can be given. IV glucose is the next treatment option 25 gram IV bolus uh, can be given uh, and it is it can be continued as infusion. IV lipid emulsion is also can be given 1.5 ml per kg bolus 0.25 to 0.5 milligram per kg per minute infusion drip can be continued. Again, transcutaneous or transvenous pacing can be done patient who are not responding. Next toxin is snake bite toxin. In India, we have polyvalent anti-snake venom. Most of the bites may require 5 to 10 vials of ASV that should be diluted every vial should be diluted in 10 ml of uh, saline should be given over 10 minutes so normal bite may require 5 to 10 vials maximum vials can be given is 25 to 30 vials next set of uh, toxin is uh, cyanide poisoning you can treat with sodium thiosulfate 12.5 gram that is uh, 50 ml of 25% uh, solution. It can be repeated after some times. Hydroxycobalamin 70 mg per kg can also be given along with sodium thiosulfate. Next one is digoxin toxicity or digoxin like substances, oleander poison, foxglove poison, you can give digoxin specific fab fragments. 40 mg can be given as an initial dose. Repeat uh, 60 milli, uh, after 60 minutes, you can give another dose. Some patients may require pacing also. Ethyl glycol, you can use formipisol as an antidote. Dose is 15 mg per kg body weight in 100 ml dextrose saline to be given over 30 minutes. Ethanol can be used. Loading dose is 10 ml per kg body weight, 10%. Ethanol in 5% dextrose over 30 minutes. Heavy metals you have to use chelating agents that we are not going to discuss in detail here. Drugs available are succimer, dimer caprol, calcium disodium edetate, deferoxamine, penicillamine. So heavy metals can be treated with chelating agents. Ionizing radiation is not very common in our country. Potassium iodide is a treatment of choice. Dose is 130 mg per day. Next toxin is paracetamol overdosing. n acetylcysteine is the drug of choice here. Loading dose is 150 mg per kg body weight in 200 ml of dextrose saline to be given over 15 minutes followed by a maintenance dose of 50 mg per kg in 500 ml of 5% dextrose given over 4, hour, four hours then 100 mg per kg in 1000 ml of 5% dextrose to be given over 16 hours. That's a protocol. Next is anticholinergics like atropine, belladonna. You can give neostigmine, IM, 
IV subcutaneous 0 0.01 to 0 0.04 mg per kg every 2 to 6 hours. Next one is benzodiazepines. Antidote is flumazenine 0 0.2 mg IV over 30 seconds. Repeated dose can be given. Up to maximum 1 mg should be given. Next is botulism, a botulinum toxin. Botulinum antitoxin can be given 20 ml IV infusion, dilute in 9% saline, 1 is to 10 ratio, and infusion starting at 0 0.5 ml per minute for an initial 30 minutes. Next toxin is iron overload or iron toxicity, chelating agent like diferoxamine IM for all patients not in shock. So diferoxamine is the drug of choice there. In patient who is having shock, you may have to uh, increase the uh, dose. Next is INH or isoniazide. It is a common anti-tubercular drug. The toxicity you have to give vitamin B6 that is pyridoxine. 5 gram of pyridoxine is given intravenously over 5 to 10 minutes. Patient who is having seizures can be treated with IV diazepam 5 mg or lorazepam. 0.1 mg per kg. Methanol poisoning you can give form episode dose 15 mg per kg body weight 100 ml dextrose solution over 30 minutes followed by 10 mg per kg body weight IV 12th hourly for 4 doses of ethanol. Ethanol can also be given in a patient with methanol poisoning. Next main problem is Methemoglobinemia. Methemoglobin is a complication of many drugs like alanine dyes, local anesthetics, nitrates, nitrites, phenacetin, sulfonamides. Methylene blue is the treatment of choice. IV 1 mg per kg body weight over 5 to 30 minutes can be given in uh, hemoglobinemia. Methotrexate is an anti rheumatoid drug. The main problem with methotrexate is sometimes if it is taken without folic acid, patient can have severe neutropenia. You will have to treat the patient with leucoverin or folinic acid. So you can give 20 mg IV until the methotrexate concentration falls below 10 to 8. Another drug is glucarpidase that is not available in our country that also can be given. Dose is single IV bolus injection 50 units per kg administrate over a period of 5 minutes. Opioids can be treated with naloxone 2 mg in adults 0 0.1 mg per kg body weight in children. Next toxin is very important toxin organophosphate toxin organophosphates very common in our country. The treatment protocol is atropine can be given as Fixed bolus doses, initial dose is 1 mg IV, if no adverse effect, 2 mg every 15 minutes till the patient is completely atropinized. Some doctors prefer to give it as an infusion protocol. Till the patient develops dry lungs. There is a uh, there is an end point of treatment or uh, atropinization, dry lungs. Pralidoxin can be given 1 gram. At least 30 mg per kg body weight in adult 8th uh, hourly for first 24 to 48 hours. Carbamates are something similar to organophosphates. There you have to give atropin. Sulfonylurea rarely produces overdose or toxicity. Any sulfonylurea induced hypoglycemia you have to give IV dextrose 50%. Then continue the infusion with 10% dextrose water. Octreotide is an uh, antidote for sulfonylurea induced hypoglycemia. 1.5 microgram per kg body weight IV should be given and repeated dose may be recommended. Thallium toxicity is very rare. Prussian blue 250 mg per kg body weight divided in every 6th hour is an antidote. Tricyclic antidepressants is an antidepressant, very common um, uh, problem in toxicology. Soda bicarb 50 millimol per 50 ml, single use pre-filled syringes 
for rapid administration or you can give 50 ml of 50% soda bicarb or whatever soda bicarb it is available you can give that unfractionated heparin protamin is the drug of choice 1.5 mg per kg per 100 units of heparin should be given sorry protamin should be given valproic acid is a anti epileptic drug whenever there is a toxicity you have to go for l carnitin dose is 100 mg per kg body weight iv over 30 minutes warfarin is used in patient with uh, uh, thrombophlebitis dvt pulmonary embolism if that that produces severe bleeding tendency you have to give vitamin k one ampule iv daily should be given fresh frozen plasma 15 ml per kg can be given prothrombin complex concentrate 50 to 100 units per kg iv bd should be given recombinant factor 7a activated factor 7 doses ranges from 16.3 to 87, 87.35 microgram per kg body weight so we are recommended various antidotes for toxin you can remember remember it as toxidotes thank you